uh, first of all, where did you hide all this energy and all this explosiveness that you showed in the game five? <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I hit it, you know, I was just um, putting, I guess the team first, you know, I had other things uh, that I had to do. <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, no, this Our is, it's a, it's, a, it's a running joke, like with my friends and family, like towards the end of every year, out of nowhere, I just start you know, going crazy. So I don't, I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm excited for summer. Uh, perhaps you fooled us because, uh, you know, uh, when you first came, we thought that uh, Olympiakos uh, brought here a dunker, a, <laughs> a slasher, you know, <laughs> a guy that uh, splits the defense and dunks the ball. But in the game five, you were a shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you just feel good. And I've been feeling good these past couple months. Are you ready for a red and white uh, Belgrade? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm too, I don't, I wouldn't say anxious, but I, I think about it a lot. I just, I just wanted to be here already. I don't think I've been wanting an opportunity like this uh, my whole career. When you first came to Olympiacos, did you expect that uh, you will uh, end up playing uh, in the Final Four? Uh, Because many times you, you talked about the Final yeah, yeah, Four. Yeah during the years? I mean, it, it's weird to finally accomplish something, especially in a year where we didn't, you know, have the expectations for the Final Four. Uh, I just knew the group of guys that we had, it seemed possible. Describe me your feelings when you played the game five in a ex extra full court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, seeing the fans getting on the court and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was unbelievable. I'm glad everybody got to experience that. Um, I'm glad I got to experience it after COVID, after, you know, last season not being the best. And then, you know, going from the bottom of Bureau League to the Final Four is, is crazy. Now it's the hard questions. Okay. okay. Uh, you posted a photo with uh, Kevin Durant mm -hmm. and uh, you said that uh, no one knows what you've been through. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us uh, know a, a part of your story, of mm -hmm. your journey, uh, but uh, can you uh, say in a few sentences uh, just some cues of your story for the people that may don't know what you've been through. I uh, got you. I mean, you know, high school dropout, college dropout. I didn't like school, I guess. Um, but, you know, sleeping in the car, you know, being homeless. For me, that's kind of like normal. Not like normal, but, you know, I lived it. So um, to see the success I have now, the, my beautiful family, um, my wife, my son, uh, for me, it's a it's a dream come true. You know, I feel like I'm a warrior. Uh, when you were young, after prison, uh, you did a lot of jobs to you know survive, mm -hmm. and uh, you were sending all those videos uh, in order to get a chance and play in the NCAA. Mm -hmm. uh, would you imagine that uh, that you would end up here playing uh, for this crowd, for this team? and uh, having the chance to win the EuroLeague? No, I, like, <laughs> no, I, for me, like, having those jobs, like you said, like, working at Pizza Hut, for me, that was, like, crazy. I still, you know, can smell it, remember it, taste the pizza, but, uh, no, like, it's, it's weird. I was working at furniture stores or I was working in the kitchen at a seafood restaurant, and the whole time I was like, you know, I'm going to play basketball for a living, um, and now that I'm finally out, it's, it's a dream come true. It's amazing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, a judge, when you were on the court, mm -hmm. said that uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, 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 I and still remember him. Yeah. Now, 10, 15 years yeah. later, you, they, he didn't see you. I'm, I, <laughs> and uh, you're here uh, achieving all this. Is it, uh, you know, you were saying I mean, I'm, to him? I'm waiting to retire to actually have the energy to go back and find him, his name. Uh, <laughs> and send him a postcard or follow him on Instagram or something and, you know, just kind of laugh it off. But um, it, it didn't matter. I believed. That's, that's all it took. Let's say that uh, we have a time machine and uh, we could bring you uh, in front of yourself uh, inside the prison cell. Mm. Uh, what uh, would the 30-year-old Zach say to your younger self back then? Oh, man, that's tough. You know, kind of just to keep going, like, that... We don't have to have a time machine, you know, these are, you know, dreams that I've had or just thoughts that I've had over the past 15 years are just like, you know, it's so crazy and mind-blowing to see that I'm here right now. Um, it's kind of unbelievable. 
Um, but if he had to say something, it's just kind of like, you know, it gets better. You know, chill, it gets better. You, you're on the right path, for sure. How many messages uh, did you have from the fans, uh, you know, uh, before Belgrade? Yeah, it was too many. <laughs> My phone was about to explode. I missed countless, so I'm sorry if you messaged me and I couldn't get back. Cause, you know, sometimes I message them back where I like it, but it was just so many I couldn't keep up with it. Yeah, for sure. So I want you to look at the camera and send your message to the fans uh, who, you know, uh, in these difficult times that uh, here in Greece uh, we have, they bought the tickets, they're getting ready to make the trip, uh, the trip to Belgrade. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't uh, have a ticket but uh, hope that they can get a ticket uh, outside of the court. So what's your message to them? Um, thank you guys for the continued support. Um, if you're going to be in Belgrade, see you soon. Um, this team believes that we can do it for sure. So um, thanks for the support and see you guys soon.